So we finally have our first cast members announced for the brand new Shin Kamen Rider movie that is coming out in Japanese theaters in 2023. There's a lot of really cool things to discuss here about this upcoming movie, and of course also the designs for the titular hero and the actors that have been picked. So let's go ahead and talk all about it. So what is Shin Kamen Rider? Well, if you don't know what this movie is, uh, first of all, it was announced a couple of months ago, back in April of 2021, uh, during the 50th anniversary celebration for Kamen Rider. So there was like a whole weekend where they announced a bunch of new upcoming projects for the franchise over the next couple of years, including the Futo Tante uh, detective agency thing, the uh, upcoming anime for Kamen Rider Double, which will be based off of the double manga that has been released over the last couple of years and will be actually released in the US next year via Funimation. So uh, I've really never watched any animes that much. I've never really done much with that. So I think this will be pretty fun to watch. They also announced the Kamen Rider Black Sun series film thing. I think it's more of a kind of limited series, kind of a Kamen Rider Amazon type of show, which would be kind of a modern version of Kamen Rider Black, the very, very famous Showa era Kamen Rider. And then of course, they also announced the theatrical film Shin Kamen Rider for a 2023, I believe March 2023 release. This will kind of be considered the third unofficial entry in the Hideaki Anno Shin trilogy of tokusatsu properties. Um, so Hideaki Anno, I'm not very familiar with him or his work. I know he, I believe I, he created Evangelion, I think, uh, which is an anime that I've definitely heard of, but I have not uh, ever seen. He's kind of gotten to do a kind of childhood dream, per se, of doing a whole tokusatsu, like Shin, which means like new uh, versions of classic tokusatsu heroes, or even just kind of properties. So back in 2016, he got to do Shin Godzilla, which I've never seen. I've never seen any Godzilla films, which is very strange being a tokusatsu fan. Uh, but then also he was currently, as he, he's finished with it, I believe, the Shin Ultraman movie, which was supposed to come out earlier this year, uh, but it got delayed because of the pandemic, and I don't think it currently has a release date, unfortunately. Uh, but that's where the big, tall, lanky Ultraman comes from, so I am looking forward to seeing that film, because I am a little bit more familiar with Ultraman stuff than, like, Godzilla stuff. Um, so I'll definitely check that out. These are not actually any kind of, like, actually connected trilogy of any kind, but they all are Shin plus a tokusatsu property. So people were pretty hyped when they announced this film, and uh, I can I can see why, especially with the new announcements, uh, because we had a press conference happen very very early this morning. I think it happened, or yesterday morning, I think it happened at like 3 a.m. or something like that. It was very early, uh, where they got to announce the cast and kind of show off the suit. So all we had seen before, which I'm sure I've already put this image up in the video, was this picture of what should be Shin Kamen Rider, uh, and it looks awesome. It's like this kind of painting looking picture of like this rider with the, the trench coat and he's looking all dark and serious and stuff. It looks really cool. And uh, now we've kind of gotten to see a better look at the Kamen Rider suit and uh, they have not really done that much of a drastic change to the original 1971 Kamen Rider Ichigo suit. Obviously it's very heavily inspired by that. It basically is just that suit, uh, you know, in his original kind of off blue color scheme, you know, the kind of the black and the kind of teal-ish color, uh, and not really the full-on, like, what we know him typically in more recent crossovers and appearances, or definitely not the buff Ichigo suit from the Kamen Rider uh, Ichigo movie back in 2016. It's not anything like that. Uh, this is kind of like how the Kamen Rider the first back in 2005 did a kind of modern version of the Ichigo suit, but this is kind of a modernized but not modernized. It's not as modernized as the first, but it's not like exactly like the original. Does that make any sense? So it is interesting that we didn't see the actual like trench coat over this version of the suit that we saw on that poster. I don't know if he's gonna have that. I assume he will since it was on the poster. Uh, but then we also got to look at the Typhoon, so his henshin belt there, which has obviously also been redesigned. It uh, has these kind of like air ducts that kind of look like maybe steam or something would come out of them, which made me think a lot of this uh, CSM technique belt demonstration that happened back in 2019. One of my favorite things I've ever seen uh, at a Bandai show when they were showing off all this potential technology for future rider belts, and it was just this gigantic belt that just had steam coming out of it, which sure, I guess that's 
practical, I don't know, uh, but I thought it looked pretty cool and it kind of reminds me of that. Maybe it will do something like that in the film, who's to say? But of course, speaking of the characters themselves here, we have Takashi Hongo. They did not rename him or anything like that for this film. It is still going to be Takashi Hongo, but this time it is going to be played by actor Susuke Ikimatsu. So I don't really know who that is, but I think it looks like a great choice to me, uh, joining the history of actors who have played either Takashi Hongo himself or some variation of him. Uh, you know, this is like I said, there's a lot of similarities I think you can pull from kind of what they did with Kamen Rider the First back in 2000. And, five, and also the next in 2007, uh, but kind of different, you know, like this was looks like it's trying to be more more faithful to the original series, but also still being its own thing, and uh, I think that's pretty cool for that as well. We also have Japanese actress Minani Hamambe playing Ruiko, which is another original character from the original 1971 series, uh, who's going to be in this new film as well. So I believe we have not heard any announcement of seeing Comrade Nigo in this movie. I don't think we are, uh, which I guess would make sense because I'm assuming that uh, I don't know if they're going to do like adaptations of specific episodes or if we're doing like, well, I guess we kind of are based on the trailer that we'll get to in a second, uh, but uh, I don't know if this is supposed to kind of be an original story that will just go up to probably around the episodes that Nigo appears, because that only happens like 15 or so episodes into the original run. Um, so I don't know if this is going to be set up for a sequel where he would show up or something. Uh, Shin Godzilla and Shin Ultraman haven't got sequels, so I don't think that this would. I think it's supposed to just kind of be its own standalone thing, but I guess I don't know what their plans are. But uh, we did get to see a trailer for this film, a teaser trailer that was beautiful. If you have not checked this out, I will leave a full link to it in the description below because fantastic watch. Highly recommend it, but I do got to talk about it here because it is a basically shot-for-shot -shot recreation of the original Kamen Rider theme song, which is a very iconic song, uh, one of still one of the best Kamen Rider theme songs, in my opinion, that the entire franchise has had, and, and there's a lot of really good ones throughout its 50-year run, but I love this. Like, I think it's fun that they literally, like, recreated it, like, to a T. Like, I love how even, like, in the intro where it says Shin Kamen Rider instead of just Kamen Rider, it even has, like, the slight shakiness to the camera or head Kim kind of sh sort of moving his head around when he's sitting on the bike. Like, even that detail is incredible. Uh, and this is where we really got to get a good look at his cyclone, his bike, of course, which is another modernized version of the bike that he originally had. And he had, you know, I think, I don't know if it was re-recorded vocals, but it sounded like, you know, a more cleaned up, more modern you know, sun version of the Comrade theme song, and they recreated it all. You know, the mountain shapes or the rock shapes. Uh, you also had Spider Man, not the Marvel hero, the Shocker monster, the true Tokusatsu Spider Man. Sorry, Tokusatsu Spider Man. There are also a bunch of different Twitter comparisons between the new version of this reshot theme and also the original version that I've either already shown on the screen here or will also, of course, link in the description below. Uh, but I'm, I'm hyped to see this movie. I think Shin Godzilla got a or at least a U.S. North American release in theaters. I think that it did. Uh, I don't know if they've ever announced anything for Shin Ultraman, especially because of the pandemic still going on. I wouldn't be surprised if they haven't yet. Uh, but I would hope that with, uh, of course, the Come Murder Double, like, anime coming over here, I don't know if they've ever... I don't know if they announced any plans to release Kamen Rider Black Sun or Shin Kamen Rider over here, but I would love to see any of those really cool special projects come over here uh, to help celebrate Kamen Rider's 50th anniversary. So I think this is going to be a really cool film. I think the designs look awesome. Uh, funny thing, I mean, not funny, I hope he's okay, but uh, during the press conference, Sasuke, who's playing Takashi, actually was on crutches because I guess he injured his foot while filming. Which, if you don't know uh, the classic story about why Takashi, the original Takashi, left the show during like episode 15, is that's because while they were filming the show, he actually got into a motorcycle accident and really in injured his legs. So he had to bow out of the show for a number of episodes, and that's why they introduced Kamaru Nigo in the first place to keep the show running. So, very weird, one of those like Hollywood, not Hollywood because it's Japan, but one of those like weird like movie making curse things uh, that uh, he also injured his, his leg in some capacity while filming. Just one of those weird, eerie things, you know? Uh, he really uh, took some commitment to the role by going even that far. So, <laughs> I hope he's okay though. Uh, you know, I feel bad for him having to be up on that press conference stage with crutches that in this big moment to be announced as the next version of the iconic Kamen Rider. That had to have been embarrassing, so 
hopefully he has a speedy recovery. But um, that's going to do it for this episode of Toku Talks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to talk about this Shin Kamurada film because it looks pretty cool. And uh, let me know down in the comments below if you've seen Shin Godzilla, if it's worth checking out. Uh, it's, like I said, I have never seen a Godzilla film, so do you think it's a good starting spot? I know there's so many different Godzilla films and like reboots, I guess, of Godzilla that could be like a first film. Uh, so let me know down there below. I will check out Shin Ultraman. Uh, especially since that will come out sometime between now and Shin Kamen coming out so that I can kind of get like a feel for his films and kind of see his directing style and uh, approach to these classic tokusatsu properties. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments below and uh, thank you all for watching this episode of Toku Talks. Hopefully it will continue to go smoothly here up on campus without too much noise from roommates or beeping cars outside or anything like that uh, but we'll just We'll see what we can do. So thank you all for watching. Of course, until next time, you can follow me on Twitter at LivingRangerKey or at LightningFigPR. And I'll see you all later. Tokusatsu forever.